Hi everyone, I thought I'd show you the main two eyeshadow palettes that I use when I'm creating special effects looks. I use these when I want to create bruising or anything. And by the way, ignore the state of my hand, I've just done swatches for uh, my blog post on the new sleep palette. Um, the first, the main one I use is this one, which is the Sleek Chaos palette. Now, if you find like one of those little stalls that sells like um, X stock from shops and store for, or something like that, you might find this palette, but I can't see it anywhere in Superdrug or anything now. And there used to be like a little stall near me outside Superdrug that used to sell like the, the older palettes but they don't seem to have the Chaos one anymore but I've got a more up to date sleep palette with the same sort of colours in so I'll show you um, but yeah this is the main one which is the sleek Chaos palette and if I, if I can open it one handed as you can see I've well used it and the main colours I use are the black um, a touch of the blue, a bit of the green and then this one which was like a red brown colour which as you can see is all gone sometimes I use that as well so as you can see I've well and truly used this palette ignore the reflection that's just my painting on the wall upside down um, great little palette for creating bruises and effects um, so obviously some of the colours are not what I'd wear as eyeshadow or anything but I thought it would come in useful for effect looks and things so that's what I use it for and then the other one I use is this one which is the sleek ultra mattes oops upside down ultra mattes palette this came out fairly recently I think you can still get it super drug I saw it the other day in my local super drug anyway um, and in here I'd use this color which is like a red brown it looks a bit lighter on camera but that's a great color just for a bit of redness and soreness to the skin and then it's got like a green and a blue um, basically you want sort of black brownie red green blue um, in matte shades you can use any palette you like I just prefer the sleek ones because I only have to use a little bit that's quite a useful colour as well even though it looks like a bright turquoise on camera it's actually quite a dark one and I just ha had that for a hint of colour to the bruising um, and then it's got a couple of like sort of flesh tony colours as well as a bit of white um, so that's what I use to create bruising you can get like bruise wheels and stuff by I think Mayron do them I think um, me personally I've never bought them I tend to just stick with cheap products just because I haven't got the money to go buying loads of, loads of expensive stuff especially when it's not locally available or anything like if I wanted to get hold of a load of mayor on stuff I'd have to order it online and then get it shipped and stuff so it's just not worth me bothering so that's what I use for bruising it's just a couple of cheap sleek palettes um, they're available from Superdrug um, hope you found this video useful thank you for watching